Hello. 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 How are you, Aaron? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. I'm, uh, you know, I don't feel very good. I've not felt very good for a couple of days. Thank you, everyone, for calling and checking on me. Well, do you have the plague or? Uh, well, no. I thought I had the bird flu. The bird flu? Or you could have the mad cow. It's back. I was concerned. But I have not eaten any cows. No cows. No pork. Or mm, pork. No, pork <laughs> is something else. But no beef. No, not until today. Today. I've eaten beef today. Where, where did you go? Uh, well, it's signing up for life. I've been, I had breakfast. Well, I'm just wondering maybe did they use... No, they only meat? use good stuff. I went okay. to, um, I went to Snooze. For, oh, did you go this morning? Yes, yeah. for breakfast. They had some good photos posted everywhere. Well, it was very delightful it, there. It is dining out for life. I have to tell you though, it was very funny because the waiter, the waiter, or not the waiter, the person that seats you, what uh -huh. are they? Uh, host. Right. And the waitress, both I think knew who I was, but they couldn't figure out who I was. The so voice? They, yeah, so they kept trying to get me to talk. And since I knew that they knew who I was, but they didn't know who I was, and they were just trying to get me to talk to figure it out, I talked very little. You talked very little. You talked like you were sick. Oh, no, I didn't even talk like that. They're like, would you like something to drink? I'm like, mm -hmm. I would mean, do it was just like, you know. What time did you go? Did what you go you when everybody was there? Uh, no, well, what, no, no, no. No, because I, I know Dr. Jacobs, Dolores went there. And right. Todd Gloria was there. I went and there. And I wanted to know if you were, if you saw Odie, because I heard he was there. I did not. Oh. I did not see Odie. But I saw Odie the other day walking. Odie stalker alert. Odie stalker mm -hmm. alert. <laughs> I, I was going to stalk him. <laughs> I bet you were. God, I, what was he wearing? A suit? Yeah, he was. No, 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 no. He was um, in uh, shorts. Oh. Your favorite. Yep. Shorts. It was good. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm Where did glad you go for you're, breakfast? You're feeling better. I went to filter. That's for coffee. Well, I had a little bowl. Little. They have this oatmeal brulee that is fucking awesome. It's like candied brown sugar over the And then the what top. did you do like, for lunch? Uh, lunch I kind of haven't had yet because we have, I've had to be home. You know, we're moving. So they have to keep showing our place. And so I have to rush home, pick up things and make sure it's not in the shambles. And he's been calling like every hour. A lot of people coming through to see the place. Interestingly enough, a lot of people that we know. We've had almost the entirety of the whole at our apartment. <laughs> checking it out to look to see if they want to move there. So We shall see. He, apparently nobody's put down an application yet because he keeps showing it. So, yeah. Well, I went there and then I stopped by uh, Witch Witch for lunch. Yes. Witch Witch, I heard Witch Witch. Was, Witch Witch was packed. Yeah, was packed, that's what I heard. Oh I also God. heard that uh, Smash Burger was packed. I didn't go to Smash Burger, well, I was across the street, but yeah, it looked packed. It yeah. was, Witch Witch was very, very excited. I, I am getting ready. You know, Moses is doing it, of course, where we're, right. we're at. So by virtue of being here, we're supporting. And uh, probably going to go to uh, our gang eatery afterwards. That's lovely. Yes, very lovely. Where are you going after this? I'm undecided. She can't decide. Sofa? No, no, no. Food? I'm going to go and eat. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to go get something to eat. I just don't know what. I mean, I have been eating all day. Well... Good. Calories don't count today. Uh, but uh, no, <laughs> that is a lie. That is a big, that fat, is a big lie. fat lie. <laughs> well, you can blame Todd Gloria for because, that. Because, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you, these jeans today were like, oh, girl. She's wearing the maternity extra. Yeah, I was, I was looking for my maternity extra wide waist line. <laughs> and on the way here, I saw an accident on the 163. Well, we were wondering what the hell the traffic issue the, a was. A dumpster fell off its truck. Okay. Right there by the, so the lanes are all closed. So what's so funny is like when I came off the freeway, I had to stop right there and there was all these cars at the stoplight to turn. And I rolled up my window, I'm like, don't go down there. Like, you know. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't go down El Cajon Boulevard, your favorite El Cajon Boulevard. Well, sometimes I like to do that. Sometimes I just like to take the freeway, so I took the freeway today. Well, I guess that explains why you were here so early today. And then there was like two girls that were looking at me like, what? And I'm like, big accident, don't go. And they're like, thank you. And then there's like these guys in the, and they were looking at me, they're like, 
the fuck are you talking about? Like, so total, you know. And I'm like, oh, you guys should go. <laughs> you guys should go. Yeah. Did you have your big sunglasses on? So the on? two, I did. So the two, uh, the two girls in their little cars, they whipped around, and they didn't go down there. And the guys that uh, looked at me like they were stupid, they made the turn. Dumb. So you obviously didn't take your car to bar today. I did not do the car to bar. Because I'm not drinking today. Oh, spe- well, because you're not feeling well. Right. Right. This is my non-drinking day. Your non-drinking day. Yeah. Well, then you can't go... I had a Bloody Mary earlier, though, at Snooze. At Snooze. Was it a Because day? they told me that I had to try it there. Because they have, uh, which I had not had before, they have jalapeno-infused vodka. Yeah. Yes. And you know what else they do with their Bloody Marys there? What? They bring you uh, pickle juice, if, and you could put pickle juice in it. Mm. Is it a special request, or they just do it? No, you have to ask for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you ask for it, and then they'll bring it. What did you have for breakfast? I had the carne asada Benedict. And uh, then my other friend had a um, the breakfast pot pie. Uh-huh. Oh. I had a little bite of that. That was delicious. Wait, that, Donald had that last time we went. So good. And then um, somebody else had the crab Benedicts. Didn't try that. Yeah, well, <laughs> no girl. You don't do you no fish. Mm. <laughs> mm. No, I did not. Oh, Lord. It was well, so funny. And then the guy at the table next to us, they got up and left. And his knife dropped out of his pocket. And he was walking away, and I was trying to get his attention. And all these people, I'm trying to give their attention. And he's like giving me attitude, and so I wasn't going to tell him. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, "Dude, you dropped your knife!" And everyone like turns and looks, like really loud. And he like kind of looked at me, and he turns around and goes, "Oh yeah, no, come on." Your what kind of knife was it? Like a hunting knife, or it was slightly bigger than a pocket knife, but it was a pocket knife. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Box cutters? <laughs> no, it wasn't a box. Cutter. Planning to kill someone later? <laughs> that would that would have been funny. Funny. What did you do this week? Anything fun and exciting? What did I do this week? Yes, I um, I did have a really good time uh, this weekend at uh, Todd and Bruno's new house. I heard. At their housewarming party. That house is fucking amazing. And he got his uh, citizenship, too. Yes, he sure did. So he's all... He's no longer French. Mm-hmm. Well, he's always French. <laughs> well, now he's legal. I wonder if he has a dual... I wonder if he got a dual... Probably not. He did get a duel? Yes. Yeah. That's uh, what I would do. A lot of a lot of them do if their uh, Coming country from of origin else. allows it. Right. So, yeah. I would, I would do a duel. Oh, yeah? You, where? Here in Mexico? Uh, no. I don't, well, I don't know. Oh, you're probably already a citizen there. Just by virtue of who you by, are. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> because I've been there so much? Maybe. Well, you know, everybody thinks you're Mexican. I know they do. <laughs> I think I'm Latina. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so I did that. That was really great fun. We had a great time. Really, really nice uh, group of people. And you would have died. The food, outstanding. Outstanding. Well, if I felt better. Well, I'm sorry you were so I sick. was going to go. That's a bummer. But I laid in bed. <laughs> so- Dying. Did that make up the entirety of your weekend? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I went to bed on Friday. Well, okay, you know, Thursday was the most party. Yes. Oh, my God. Fuck. Okay. Well, <laughs> let me just say, I celebrated 20 years. Um, <laughs> um, in uh, one night. <laughs> yes, you mother did. Mother of God. Well, we, and we got an early start because we didn't do a show No, we did week. not. We, so. Because <laughs> I was drinking. <laughs> yes, yeah, you were. It was not good. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. And then I left there and I went to PAX and had a great time at PAX, uh, from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Apparently the photos are up somewhere. No, you know, I'll be there were no photos of PAX. There were a lot of photos from here, but none mm-hmm. from PAX, which is, I guess, is good. And then, uh, but anyway, I had fun. I mean, I know I had fun. Norma was there and a bunch of people I'd seen for a while, so that was fun. And then um, Friday, I was uh, hungover. Like, I really thought... I saw your status update. Yeah, I really thought that somebody had um, <laughs> beat the shit out of yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, I really, they tried to, they took, they sucked all of the liquid out of my body and I was uh, not. Got it. You know, and I worked. So oh. I went to work on Friday because, you know, that is a rule of mine that if you, you know, like, 
you know, A, plan ahead. So if you know you're going to do it, then, you know, take the time Cancel off. Some but B, uh, you know, like if you're going to, you know, you, you got to be responsible too. So I went to work and, yeah, I was not, <laughs> it was slow. How were they feeling about Miss Hungover? Uh, well, you know what, I just went in and I'm like, look, I'm kind of hungover. And they're like, we can see that. I'm like, so we have two choices here. One, we could talk or uh, be, I can cut your hair. Like, you decide whichever one you want. And they're like, all right, we will not talk. Right? <laughs> like, not doing both. <laughs> yeah, it's like multitasking is not going to happen today. Right. So, yeah, so I did that. And then, um, but the funny part was that I, I went home and took a nap, and then I, I started to feel better, so I went to go for a walk. And uh, so I went for my walk, because, you know, I've been walking a lot. And How's that been going? Very good, good, very good, very good. Well, until Friday. Until Friday. Friday was the last day I walked, because... <laughs> oh, because you're sick. Yeah. You have mad cow. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't really know what it was, because uh, what it was is I started to get a sore throat, and when I was out walking on Friday night, my throat actually started getting worse, like, uh. like clammy, like, almost like I had an aller was having an allergy. I was just gonna say something because that happened to Donald for like two days. Yeah. No, well, that's yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I literally thought I was going to. Were your eyes itching up a storm? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is not good, not good at all. So, uh, no, 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 not my eyes, just my throat. Oh, just your just throat. my throat. Okay. And then, um, I, when I time I got home from the walk, I was gone, dead, gone. Did you go, I want to know, did you go to the rodeo? I No, I was in bed. Oh. That's... I did nothing. I went to... That is a bummer. I went to bed. That was my weekend. That was... Well, I bet you're pissed. You wanted to go to that rodeo, goddamn it. I did want to go to the rodeo. But that's what I did. I spent the entire time. I went out to see Luna on Sunday because I thought I was feeling better. Mistake. Oh, was that Sunday or Monday? Maybe it was Monday. I don't know. Yeah, it was not good. Yeah. But my weekend was in bed. Well, now you're all back in better and... I, well, I'm, yeah, I'm better, but I'm, I still don't, I'm still very tired. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe, uh. It is your fault. Maybe you should have coffee because, you know, like Jay says, that does the opposite effect to him. Makes him fall asleep. Then you can just go to bed. Oh, I had no problem. No problem going to bed. The other night, I went to bed at, uh, when was it? Tuesday. What's today? Thursday? So Tuesday, I got home from work. I went to bed at, because I felt good on Tuesday. Uh-huh. And then I went to, home, went to work, got home, went to bed at uh, 6.45, and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to take a little nap, you oh. know? <laughs> One of those. Yeah. And I, hours uh, later. I woke up the next morning at 9.30. Oh, shit. You were tired. That, is, that was Moe's catching up to you. Done. But it was good, you know, because it was like that sick, like, I sweated, you know? Uh, oh. It was a good... Have you ever had to take sleeping pills to fall asleep? Uh, no. No. I mean, I haven't had to. I mean, I've taken sleeping pills. Okay. Why? But I'm, no, I'm just curious because I, that's always been my fear. I, I have taken, um, you know, sleeping pills or anti anxieties on long plane trips, and that's it. I am so afraid that I'm going to take a, a pill to fall asleep, and <laughs> I'll wake up, you know, 20 hours later having missed my entire life in my day and that's why I won't take them and Donald keeps forcing them on me because lately I've been having insomnia I'll go to bed at 11 30 12 o'clock and then I wake up at three and I can't fall asleep for like an hour hour and a half well I don't sleep crazy. that much anyways oh I sleep to begin with so six hours usually yeah I, I'm between five and six hours so usually I mean that's how I knew that I didn't I mean I don't I knew I didn't feel good I mean that was so it's good. Well, yeah, Donald's a drug pusher, and I don't want to take any sleeping pills. Except for Halcyon on long trips. <laughs> Even though I know it's illegal, and that's okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, the only sleeping pill I take is that nature, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, no. Nature I want something that I know I is going to knock me out, and 13 hours later, I'll arrive at Heathrow. That's what I want. <laughs> I call that vodka. <laughs> you call that vodka? Well, <laughs> you call that any Thursday night at Moe's. <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, that's it. Is that all we did for our week? Uh, that's all I did. That's all you did? Hmm. I think. I mean, I'm sure I did something, but I don't know what I did. Anyone else you want to give a shout out to, like Babette, for the fabulous dress? You're a fabulous Oh, ensemble. I already talked to her. Okay. I got her a little gift to poo for letting me borrow it. That was very cute. You took lots of photos with everybody. The, I did. The video, did you see the video that they did, um, they played during No, the, I've heard about it, but I haven't uh, seen it. Oh, it was great. With, they all did a big thank you to Chris and Doug. 
such, it was such a sweet video, very sweet. Well, which one are you talking about? That they played here during the uh, during the anniversary. Yeah. It was of all the employees at all at Gossip Grill, and they went and talked to everybody. Oh yeah. Oh. Thursday night. Yeah, I yeah, saw that. Thursday night. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah. I keep waiting for them to put that shit on YouTube so we can post it everywhere because I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, it was good. Every Chris was uh, Chris was suffering the next day too. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, Mr. Shots that night. Yeah, <laughs> and he was actually doing them. Chris is famous for, you know, oh, let's do a shot and then and he has beer. Yeah, or something. I'm like whatever. Yeah, he was he was very fun. Right. But him and Doug, they both look so cute. Matching little outfits. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And like you know, we um, they are walkers too, and so, uh, well, you know, not walkers, but they walk, and so they um, they got me hooked on this this little gadget, this phenometer called the Fitbit. The Fitbit, right. We talked about that a little bit last week. Yeah, so they, so Doug was teasing me about it, that he had had it, and then they showed it to me, and then I got so, like, boom, into it, that then I went and got one, and then my friend Jason and John got one. So now we all have the, you know, our little Fitbits. Well, so now explain really quickly to everybody how the Fitbit works. Can you put, can you hook it to your iPod or? No, you hook it up to, like I have it on, it's right here. And it's so small. Where is it? So that's all it is. Okay, so it looks like a giant paper clip. You're right. And then what you do is, every time you walk by your computer, it has this little tower that you hook up to your computer. It automatically loads all of the information up to the computer. And then people that you're, that you're, in a group with, or that you're friends with, uh -huh. then they can all, they, then you can monitor each other's stuff. But is it only for walking, or can people run, or can they? If you run, yeah, it'll. So does it monitor like your calories burned, and like, like what all does it monitor? I will do everything, depending on how much you want to do. Oh, okay. So, this is like how many steps I've taken since midnight. Okay. That's how many miles I've walked today. Okay. That's how many calories I've burned today. Okay. That, by the way, is only a quarter of what I've eaten today. <laughs> wow, girl. <laughs> this is, well, I'm just telling you. Uh, you don't want to show snooze, that number to them. <laughs> snooze is not a low-cal place. No, for real. Yeah, I'm just saying. This is how many I've done. This will count the flights of stairs you've done. Okay. I've done oh, none. Oh, so it does elevation too? Yes. Okay. I've done none because mine has all been sitting in booths and, and restaurants today. Okay. And this little flower grows. So it has a little stem. So the more active you are, the larger the flower gets. Right. And then that's the time. So do you have to change it when you're when you're doing different activities? No. Like if you're going upstairs? No, it automatically it does, does everything. It automatically. And then oh you God, can put that. it on at night. It has this little doodad that you put on at night and it monitors your sleep. So then it'll say how long it took you to go to sleep, how many times you woke up, how long you were in deep sleep. And then it, it rates all of that and tells you your percentage your your percentage of sleep. So it'll be like you slept, you know, you last night you got like eighty seven percent successful sleep. And it goes on and like all of that. I'm in love with this thing already. And then you oh I'm I'm totally in love with it. You're too. getting me hooked. And then you do and then you have like I have it on here and on my phone, but then it has little apps. Uh huh. That you can hook up to, and so you can a monitor what your other friends are doing. It also has a calorie counter on there. Uh huh. So if when you eat something or when you have water or when you do anything like that, like alcohol or you know whenever, like your beer, uh -huh. then you would go through and on the app you would put I had check 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 you know all this stuff and then it determines your calorie and then it and then at the end of the week it gives you your deficit or what you burned. Okay. And, and so that's what it does. And then it gives you little badges is the other part of it. Mm, so, you and your badges. You I am all about badges. badges. <laughs> so, but now the funny part is, is that, you know, I'm hooked up with, obviously with Jason and John now, and then, uh -huh. and then I have some other friends that are now ordering it. And then Doug and Tony and uh, Chris and a couple other people, and we're all kind of like getting in, we're all now starting to link up. Uh -huh. So then you get to watch them. You know what I'm saying? Right, and see their progress. Right, so then you could sit there and like the other, uh, like last week, I was like sitting there and I was like looking and one of them was like 5,000 steps ahead of me. You know what I'm saying? So you're all, 
And I'm like, 5,000 steps. Witches. That's just around the corner. <laughs> and so I like took off and I like walked around the, you know, I walked around the corner uh -huh. so that I could beat them. So it is super competitive. Oh, wow. You know, so it's very fun. So how much does one of these cost? And where can they get them? You for view. Buy them online. You buy them online. Buy them you can online. buy them um, at fitbay.com or uh, 24 Hour Fitness has them. We found them. And Best Buy has them, and they're 99.95. Oh, that's not bad. And then, but we found them on eBay because you know I love eBay. Yeah. I love eBay. You love your online shopping. I do love a deal. Deals. Yeah. And so uh, we got them for I think they were 85 dollars. Oh, that's not bad. So, and they're you know they're really cool. Oh my god, I think I might get one because I want to be your friend and I want badges. Well, I think that you should get one because what I'm thinking about doing is we're, I'm thinking about starting a he said, she said group on the Fitbit website. Okay. So that we can all be competitive. Right. So then when <laughs> AIDS Walk comes around next year, then we'll be able to, you know, like if we have our group, then we'll we'll be able to see like a total what our, how many steps our group oh, yeah. took. And they're all going to have to do it with team he said, she said. And you can't go to a game afterwards because you're going to be faster than all of us. Well, it depends. If there's a game, there's a game. I'm there's sorry. Game. There's a game. <laughs> you're like, girl, trust. Don't mess with me and my chargers, okay? okay? All right, we have to take a break because we're way over time. So all right. we'll be right back. But I got everyone. We are back. Yay. And the question that you had is, what are we, what are we talking talk about? about? I don't know, girl. What do you want to I talk about? I think you're going to surprise me. You know what I will talk about? I just want to touch on real quick. Please. Because I found this out in, um, and it's, and, you know, it's kind of been bothersome to me. Uh huh. But uh, I found out today that another one of my friends uh, was bashed up in Hillcrest uh, last week, uh -huh. going home from a bar, and, and he did not report it. And so I had a long conversation about why he didn't report it and, and uh, all of that. And, you know, he felt very embarrassed and he was ashamed and, mm -hmm. you know, all of those things. And uh, which I found like really interesting because, you know, he was like, you know, he just felt like. Uh, like that people would think that. that less of he, him. Like he wasn't like he masculine enough for, oh, you know. Yeah. Okay. So. That really kind of got me to thinking. I mean, it was, you know, I mean, it, it, it was kind of, a, it was a really interesting conversation. I mean, I think that the attack itself was very bad, but it, it really got me thinking about that we, you know, we often think about when someone's attacked, the physical thing of it, but then we don't often think about the emotional part of it. Right. And, you know, people that really, that really do feel that way. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but it's like the third one that I've heard of. And the past couple of weeks. Oh wow! So, well, and none of all three of them, none of them have reported them. And that is the worst thing they could do. Right, but Be they're all embarrassed. They're, and so I think that we need to do. I mean, which I didn't realize how many people. So I mean, if that's the three people that I know uh -huh. that you know that haven't done it, then you know it's on the rise. Which I've kind of known that it's on the rise, anyways. Right. right. But well, we had talked about that um, because. I had said we had a Stonewall meeting recently, right. and Officer Meyer had, had come and said there has been a release of, uh, of some individuals from prison that were not considered, you know, felonious or, or, you know, violent. And so crimes in particular areas, particularly in the core areas, are increasing because that's what they were in jail for. Things like... Um, theft and burglaries and and those sorts of things right and that's where this sort of violence can happen and what's unfortunate is is I know I, I feel I, it sucks if that they feel the way that they do they don't want to report it but by them not reporting it means that we are not going to get extra attention from the police force right because that's what the I said. is not there right and you know he's like well I didn't see them and I'm like well you don't have to see you them. don't have to see them and I don't even you know it's like I don't even think that you need to and I and I don't know you know I was like I don't even think you need the police to come to your house and do all of that I think really you just need to make the report that look I was at X and X a place and I was attacked uh -huh. you know I mean now he was I mean physically there was some you know right was he um, was there theft 
Did they nope. steal his wallet or nope. anything? They no. just beat him up, called oh. him a bunch of fag names, and left him there on the side of the street in the gutter. Weeknight? Weekend? Uh, it was a uh, weeknight. Oh. So. That's when it seems to be happening more, is right. on the weeknights. Right. So, I don't know. Well, interesting that you brought that up because that was that was actually one of the topics that I wanted to talk about is uh, we have been having some people come into the center wanting to get in touch with Stonewall or, or speak to a police liaison for the community that want to report crimes. Mm -hmm. And these are crimes um, that straight couples are reporting because, you know, we do have quite an influx of um, you know, heterosexuals in, right. in, Hill, in Hillcrest, but they're not quite sure how to go about reporting things that are against them and their perceived orientation. Even though she is not a lesbian or even though he is not gay, I was targeted because they thought that I was gay. How do I go about doing this? They don't know. We've had a couple of those people come into the center recently. But, not, but I think that, that... I don't think that you have to be anything. I think that if you are doing it with the intent of that that's what it is. Right, right, then right, right. Then, it's a, then it is a hate crime. Exactly. You know, I exactly. mean, so... But they, but them not not being LGBT, not really understanding hate crime. And they don't know, well, this guy, you know, totally accosted me and tried to, you know, fill me up and tell me that I need to know what a real man feels like because, you know, he thought that I was a lesbian. Well, how do I... What do I do? And I and I'm like, you call the police and you tell right. them that somebody accosted you, and you know, per, it doesn't matter, perceived or or not perceived. Right. But you know what I think would be interesting, and I, you know, they used to have it a long, long time ago. I don't know if they still do it, but they used to have like a community officer. They do still, and his name is Officer Myers. His name is Dan Myers. So why? I wonder what. I wonder how difficult it would be to maybe set something up with him where he was at the center maybe once a week or something where people could go and have conversations with him. He would absolutely be open to that. I don't know if, if he would have the capacity to do it once a week because along with being our um, community liaison, he is also a police officer. Right. So he does work. But I know that, I, because I know him personally, and he would absolutely be willing to come and spend time at, at the center and talk with people who have issues. I mean, I've even talked with, with Jay, similarly to some of these issues, with a lot of the people that are getting released and, and people that do come into the Hillcrest area who are released from prison and are homeless and need some sort of shelter and assistance. And he has even offered his support to come and help these people find the sort of resources that they need. So I know that they would do it. It's just well, a matter I'm, of but, asking. But what I'm saying is that I think that if we, if there was that liaison guy mm -hmm. that could go and talk, that people knew that he was there or that somebody was there. Right. It doesn't have to necessarily be him. It could be another somebody. You know, like once a week on, you know, Tuesday nights from, you know, six to seven, that if something had happened, that people could go and it would be kind of a little confidentially kind of thing. Could go into right. the room and say, you know, could ask questions like, what is, you know, what would this be? Or could say, you know, I was walking on the street and this happened to me, but I don't want to tell anybody. And then he could log that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I'm saying. Maybe you should propose that. Maybe I will. Maybe you should say Maybe I propose will. propose that. God, another project I clearly Yet don't another. want to take on. <laughs> the, the new I haven't even made it to the center on Tuesday to play Canasta yet. I know. You are missing the Canasta, and I want to tell you that that is growing, I know. growing, I, growing. I, I'm going. I am going to go. Maybe I'll go this coming up Tuesday. I don't know. I really need to go. They And I can tell you they, they probably love it because their Canasta group, which is supposed to be, I think, I think it's two hours, yeah. ends up going almost four hours. <laughs> because Canass is addicting. Yeah, they it's are. Good. They're die hard. Yeah, you know? well, I'm just saying. <laughs> they might need to have that police officer there then. Well, they'll be like, I'm feeling you attacked me. I am going to give you Officer Meyer's contact information. That would be I good. You should contact. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But I do want to go play Canass too. <laughs> when was fun. the last time you were at the center? Oh, I don't know. When was the last time I was at the center? It was either to bug Dolores. I or mean, see me. <laughs> I do not bug Dolores. She loves me. She, does she love really loves me. 
Uh, when was the last time? I don't know. It's been a couple of weeks. I don't think I've been there for a while. Oh, okay. Well, you know it's Women's Fest this weekend, so you can stop by. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you might find some Yeah, I'm busy. Things. Busy, busy, busy. busy you busy, might busy, find busy, some busy, things busy, that you busy, like. busy, 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 busy. Yeah, because I know at uh, the Lesbian Fest I'm going to find shoes that I would wear. <laughs> Hey, you do have, you wear Birkenstocks. I just want to put that boy. <laughs> well, see, there you go. Your boy is more lesbian than most lesbians. That is true. <laughs> oh, I love it. Next weekend is a rodeo out in Palm Springs. Is, I heard you talking to Jay about that last week. Well, because you... Jay's mom and stepdad are going to meet me there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Planning a little trip, a little hoedown. Because he's I'm gonna get him to join the gay rodeo and he's gonna he wants to compete. Oh because he used shit. to be a rodeo competitor. Competitor. Who, Jay's dad? Yeah, stuck up. Are you gonna take him to Dinks? Diggs? Diggs, whatever the hell. No, I think I'm gonna take him to the tool shed. That's more oh, their shit. that's more their thing. <laughs> well, as long as you take him somewhere where they can see a good drag show. Two cans. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna go. All World's Resort. All World's Resort. All yeah. World's yeah. I'll take it to CCBC. <laughs> Camp Palm Springs. Oh yeah, they already saw a drag show. I, well, I saw the photos that were posted of your mother doing nothing but drink. Shots. After oh, shot, she's after just after shots drink. and shots and shots. <laughs> I'm like, calm down. You're, tr you're trying to take my place or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she didn't really care for the Jägermeister very much. Okay. She did, however, like the fireball. I was going to ask if you gave her that. And when I then I put the two together, <laughs> she thought that was delicious. <laughs> oh, God. Ophelia, the bartender. <laughs> Mix and drink. Yeah, it was very good. Should we talk about something else? All right. So, I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but I want to know. scare me. I know, I love it when I scare you. What What if you, I what makes you think I even want to talk about it? Well, I don't know because right. I'm I because you have opinions about everything. That's true. Trust me, girl. So Perez Hilton kind of did this video for um bigthink.com. Yeah. Um Big Think trying to, you know, um, decrease bullying, blah 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 blah. And basically in his video he called out certain celebrities oh. to come out of the closet. Right. And so it got me thinking, what do you think? about people, n not necessarily just Perez Hilton, but like him, um, kind of outing people to the public, those who are in the public eye. Do you think that they have a responsibility to, to people to be out? Nope. No. I think the only time that you have a responsibility to be out is if you're a hypocrite. That is the only time that somebody should out you. If you are doing, if you are gay and you are damaging are doing damage uh, politically or or whatever if you're if you're vocalizing and you're doing negative things and you're doing all that and and you're gay mm -hmm. uh then i think that that should be outed got it but if you are gay and you don't want to tell anyone that you're gay or for whatever reason if it's you you're gay and you don't want to tell your parents or you don't want to tell, it, it doesn't matter. Right. Then it's your thing. Got it. As long as you're not how... hurting anyone by your actions. Okay. Then no, you totally should not. It's no one's fucking business. All of those people are, they're actors. Mm -hmm. they're, they're only in the public eye because we want to watch them. What they do in their bedroom, in their private lives, how they vote, I don't care. Right. I don't care. Well, I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And I posted this. The, this. Although, if Kevin did. Spacey, I will say, if Kevin Spacey came out, came out I totally would have sex with him. <laughs> well, <Totally>. duh. <laughs> I'm totally. I've been, I've been in love with him for, like, She'd be ever. I'll be like, hi. <laughs> well, when I posted this, I thought it was really interesting. I, it got like 88 comments, and a majority of the comments said exactly what you said and what mm -hmm. I kind of agree with. Then there is a friend of mine who lives in a, a little podunk town in Louisiana mm -hmm. who felt the exact opposite. And I thought it was kind of interesting the way he worded it, 
And so I, I, I'll read it to you. All right. And what he says about it is he's, he says, what I'm saying is that if these celebrities even care the slightest bit about making the world a better place for young gay men, women, and adults, or people whose work environments or family lives or neighborhoods or churches or circumstances that make their closet a little more complex to just come out of, they could truly make it better by showing the world another example of someone who's gay. That way, we won't be all labeled as or compared to the small few who are out there like Perez Hilton. Okay, well, I have a lot to say about that. <laughs> First off, I knew you would. Perez Hilton is doing exactly what we not don't want him to do. Mm -hmm. So, by outing people, we are bullying people to come out. Right. So we're saying that we should. And then, and the people, those people that are being forced to come out are not going to do any, they're going to do more of an injustice than a justice to the cause. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to come out and they're going to be bitter. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to want to have to do anything with the community. They're not going to want to do anything. It goes back, if someone is doing something destructive, then yes, they should be outed. If you could be gay, donate a zillion dollars to help things get done. You can be supportive. You can do all of the things that you want to do, but it's nobody's right mm -hmm. to say that you're not. And I think even being from a small town, he would be more understanding of that simply because in a small town, if you're outed in a small town, hello, Matthew Shepard, prime example. If you're outed in a small town because you have some bully that says, oh, look, you should come out and let other people in our small town know that it's okay to be gay, mm -hmm. and then you get your ass kicked and killed, right. what justice then are you doing? Right. You should only come out if, it, if you want to. Right. If you are ready for it, if you can take it all on. It's your choice. It's your life. Total. So I, I agree. I, I did think that Justin's perspective was, was interesting, though. It is an interesting perspective. Yes. Not a good one, but it was interesting. <laughs> Jay loves us. But and you could send my letter to Aaron <laughs> at fuckoff.tv. And I promise I'll post it on Facebook. At least said she said Facebook page. That's, yeah. <laughs> The right. letter that I said, no, fuck yes, off. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But can we talk about bullying for a second? Oh, you want to talk about bullying? I do want to talk about bullying. How because, much time? Uh, there was, oh, I don't care how much time. <laughs> so there was a, um, a be story here about. locally. And this doesn't even have to do with gay thing. There mm. was a story um, in, in East County-ish this week that this teacher was at Olive, Olive High School, which I think is out in East County somewhere. Okay. Here in San Diego. But this teacher... Uh, is being now uh, investigated for yelling at a student because uh -huh. the student videotaped. The kid went in. The teacher said he went to talk to him. The kid went into the into the classroom, turned on his little thing to videotape the teacher, telling him what a stupid fuck the kid is, okay. and that you know the, the the teacher was like you know I want to smack you for what you've been doing and yada 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 and. Uh, 10 News, I'm going to call them out. 10 News was one of the first ones to break the story. Uh -huh. And Allison Ash, who first told the story, did a fabulous job at telling the story, including the fact that the reason that he called the kid into the room was because just prior to that, the kid was on the playground bullying another kid where he took his homework, threw it in the trash can, threw shit on it in the trash can, was a total bully to a kid. Okay. Now, this bully is getting yelled at and reprimanded by the teacher. Uh -huh. And because he's recorded it and released that to the news, guess who's in trouble? The teacher. Because we have given children more rights than they deserve. I think that that motherfucking child should be suspended. Is what I think. I am so livid that I've not this week. I've called Allison Ash <laughs> and told her what a fact. Because now 10 News isn't talking about the bullying. Uh -huh. They're not even talking. Their story is that the teacher is now being investigated for yelling at a child and playing the tape. Not telling the whole story. Uh -huh. What kind of news is that? Oh. So, um, yeah. 
I yes, oh yes, we have had this conversation. <laughs> I say times. that kid. I would. I want to punch him in the face now. Did um, did they? And his mother, uh, who works at the school, who knows that she has a disruptive child. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Did they bother to talk to the parents? Yes. Oh, out? she's the one that wants them investigated. She wants them fired. Oh, of course. Because her kid is so good. No, bitch, your kid was bullying a fucker on the field and threw homework and the trash can. Learn how to be a fucking parent. So he probably would have got an A on. God. God. <laughs> I'm just saying. God, I wish I was drinking now. See, don't you? Maybe we'll have to fill that with vodka in a little while should have some juice. Yeah, no, I'm just outraged. Outraged by it. Outraged! Ophelia's Outrage. It's a new segment. Yeah. No. We'll no. Find one for next don't week. Yeah, no, no. Because we'll talk about pride. That will get me totally outraged. Oh, well, Maybe can we? Maybe we'll do we? that on our next segment. All right. Well, we got to take a break. We'll be right back. Jay's like flipping a sign every two seconds now. He's a whatever. <laughs> What do you think? We're at your house? Yes. <laughs> God damn it. We're back. You just got me so pissed off on that last segment that you did. Yeah, I because I, you always, uh, you, yeah, you never say anything. You just go. I never say anything. <laughs> no. When I get all pissed off? No. What pisses you off? Um, you. That's fabulous. <laughs> you. Fabulous. I love that you piss me off. I love that you're, that you're never on time, except for today. Yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Time. Um, before we get into what pisses you off about pride. I don't really want to talk about because pride today. I'm Switzerland. You're the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, only, I only feed you things yeah. to get angry about. I don't want to talk about pride too much because I'm just so, I'm not, they're not even worth my time right now. They're not. No, no. they're not. We've given them way too much time on our website. Uh, yeah, well, that's right. They're going to have some more stuff. Well. And they have some more upsetting news coming up. But I will say that, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about how they were thinking, they were just thinking about um, hiring an outside source. Right. Oh, my God. It's five, five o'clock. o'clock shots. That was completely a mess up. If we just came back from commercial, I could have done my five See? o'clock shot. We just didn't time it properly. Anyway. You know, if somebody knew what they were doing, they would have known that I needed that. Oh, but I'm not drinking today. Exactly. Yeah, whatever. Notice how Paris and all the girls ran for shots. <laughs> well, <laughs> slowly. Yeah. Um, anyways, about you lost track of, you lost your train of thought. See, that's what happens. Oh, with Pride. I need to reel they, you in. They have, they have hired an outside source to handle their um, alcohol and water sales. Correct. Which, and you know, what they were thinking about and, and were con- reconsidering because um, of all of the groups that use that as a fundraiser will not be able to do that as a fundraiser now. Right. They won't get uh, the money that they have gotten from no. doing that for how many years? Uh, well, many. How long has they been doing? 30-ish years? Yeah. And, but, you know, I also heard, and I don't know the whole story, so I'm not going to, I don't want to totally bring it up yet because it's not totally done. But, you know, uh, they were trying to bring some guy here, a sports guy, uh, I can't think of his name right now. Oh, uh, uh, Billy out. Bean. And, right. And mm-hmm. it costs like $2,500 to bring right. him out. Right. And they don't have the money for that. Right. But because yet they, they spend it all on Kelly Rowland. And no, but they things. have money to erect a fucking rainbow flag and maintain it in the middle of Hillcrest. The, really? Exactly. Priorities, Pride. Mm. Exactly. They... Which, uh, by the way, was shot down again for a second time for the Planning Commission. Yeah. But uh, they did get the four votes nay that they needed in order to advance it to city council so yeah. we shall see we shall see what happens with that anyways we don't poor eddie he's he's been on our show to talk about it so <laughs> i know he's a champion of that um can we talk for two minutes about rupaul's drag race all right go ahead um so they have now teased us for the past two weeks and we still don't know who the winner is technically <laughs> And technically, we do not know. Well, there's many speculations out right. there on the board. There could be many speculations. We do not know. Okay, we do not know. You're missing my whole point with where I'm going. All right, so go ahead. don't get so angry, girl. Oh, I'm just saying. Just we're... calm the fuck down. 
There, there was a reason why it was done this way. There is a reason why it was done right. this way, yes. And so we, the finale was supposed to be last Monday, and we didn't get to see that because they wanted everybody to tweet and Facebook. And um, so going to the message boards, you, they uh, will show you how many people tweeted for a particular person, for Fifi or Sharon or Chad Michaels. And um, when I checked, which was yesterday, kind of uh, right before I left the center, um, Sharon Needles and Chad Michaels were like fucking neck and neck. There was like 2% between them. But the thing that blew me away is how many tweets they had uh, accumulated in three days. Almost a million. A million fucking tweets for Drag Race. I mean, that's insane. People like their chicks with dicks. I'm just, I'm like, wow. I don't even think Drag Race has that kind of a rating logo. A million tweets. That's insane. In three days. That's, that's like beyond American Idol. Beyond. So, just saying. Of course, we love Chad, but. We do love Chad. As long as it's not Fifi. For me, anyways. That's my opinion. <laughs> I'll say it. That's Snaggle too. All right. That's lovely. Yeah. All right. What else do you want to talk about? I got to hang out with, um, with uh, Morgan on last Thursday. We yes. We got to talk about the RuPaul race thing. Mm-hmm. She was very well, funny. <laughs> I do remember one thing. I don't know how many cocktails you had had. When she came back to me, I'm yes, like, who the hell is but that? Morgan, <laughs> Morgan wasn't in face. Yeah. <laughs> You were all kiss, kiss, love, love, and it was all, and so. I, well, I knew I knew her, but I, know, I knew I didn't you know her. Knew, right. You said you recognized the voice, and I think that's what a lot of people say yeah. about you, too. But you looked at me, and you're like, who the fucking hell was that? And I'm like, girl, that was Morgan. And you're like, oh, yeah, I knew I recognized the voice. See, that's what people say about you. I knew I recognized the voice. I just couldn't place it. Is it Nicole? Is it Ophelia? <laughs> There's a man over there staring at me. I think he wants to take his shirt off. Not really. He just blew kisses at me. That means maybe he does. Maybe oh. I'll take a little commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> we take another commercial break. We're done, girl. We don't have much to talk about. <laughs> it could happen. I could be done. You could be done? Right. Well, if, if you... If someone's blowing kisses at me, If you want to go over there and blow and, and receive those blowed kisses, and then all of a sudden you decided that you were going to try to date him <laughs> what would the three things be that would absolutely be strikes that you would not date him uh he's breathing no strikes he's breathing okay so you want a dead man <laughs> <laughs> just he's breathing that's all you need the like, other the other two would just be bonuses <laughs> Like, if you got bad credit, I ain't dating your ass. Or if you have beat up any one of your exes, I ain't dating your ass. Or you're a felon. Oh, no, felon is hot. Come on, <laughs> please. <laughs> you oh. said strikes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, that, I'm sorry. That would be a plus in the Ophelia column. <laughs> no, I'm serious, though. Is there any, like, one thing that you would, like, no, I just can't deal with that? Uh, something that wasn't in the family. Okay. You've got to be in a family. So even if he was fucking everything else to you, but was like, I'm estranged from my family, I don't like them. Oh, that'd be a problem. Well, no. No, because he could still be about family. He might be estranged from his family for circumstances that who knows, but... Right. As long as he was still into... A family. Right. But you don't want kids, do you? Oh, no, I do. No. You do? Yeah. Oh. Although I'm kind of getting old, too old for it now. You, okay, you, you want grandkids. Well, you would have to have kids before you have grandkids. Well, you could adopt somebody else's kids and call them your grandkids. Yeah, no. Because, you know, at the end of the weekend, oh, they Lord. can go home. Just your J's out. Well, okay. We should get Jay's mom on the phone because she agrees with me on this topic. Agrees with wait, you about Wait, oh, that's what? odd. So does his aunt. Oh, wait, that's odd. So does his sister's. About what? What kids. topic? Kids? Mm -hmm. Oh, that kids are... No, it's a whole age thing. Oh. I say if I was going to adopt a child, I want to adopt... I would be more willing to adopt a child that was three, five, in that, up in that age thing. Oh, so not a baby baby. No, I don't need a baby baby. 
I don't. I can't see you with a baby, baby. Well, it's not that. It's that there are so many parents, so many people that want to adopt and they want a baby, baby. Mm -hmm. That the baby babies are difficult to get. They're they're swooped up and they're very adoptable. But in the meantime, there are the older ones, the three, five, six, seven year olds that are in foster homes, and if you know, by a certain age, then they're fostered system all the way until they're 18 and then thrown on the street. So, five-year-olds can make the cocktails. Hey, that's in several movies and books. That is, that I is. I just want to point that out. That is why Jay wants it. <laughs> that is his benefit. So. Oh, no, he wants manual labor. Yeah. So, I say that I would adopt, that I would want to adopt a kid that was a little bit older, that really needed and was really looking for a home, and you could go from there. That and I don't need to change diapers. Right, change diapers. My my only fear with the older kids is that there might be some discipline issues that would be uh, hard you to don't, work You can be discipline issues with a uh, newborn. You're, I mean, it doesn't well, matter. It's how you raise them. Exactly. But that, that six-month-old to five-year-old being able to... But if you were, but if you were, I don't want to say train a child, but right. that's awful. But the awful. training that they've gotten is that they're unwanted, that they are disposable, unwanted kids. Right. So they're throwaways. They can go over here. Yeah. If, if, I, okay was th if I was a thrown away person, I would have a little issue too. Right. But you take that and you show them that they are loved and that there is a home mm -hmm. and there's all of that, and then you can work with that. Right. But yes, we are. This society is 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 and the foster system is mm -hmm. raising kids and it's showing that they are unwanted, that they do not have a purpose, they cannot find a home for them, there are people that don't want them. In the meantime, we'll take a cute little baby that just came out of some fucking crack whore's vagina. No, that's what I asked. So you're willing to do and deal with those yes. issues versus poopy diapers. Yes. And, and sleepless nights. Yeah. I have those anyways. Well, that's why I'm saying. I we can be awake together. I don't see you in your rollerblades with the stroller, you know. Oh, I do. Tooling around fucking Hillcrest. Oh, uh, I do. <laughs> yeah, maybe with a dog in it. I don't know about a baby. No, no, no. No, I would. No, no. I'm always. I've always been about kids. Always. I, no, I, I do believe you. But I'm talking about an infant. Yeah, I think, now. I think at well, some you know, point you'd be like. I'm not. I, I would not rule out. The only way that I want to have an infant, and I would not be opposed to having an infant, is if it was mine. Mm -hmm. Or that, you know, like if I was in a relationship, and we did the surrogate thing, mm -hmm. and it was all that kind of thing. Okay. That so, I would have a child. But if I was going to adopt a child, I would adopt a kid that needed a home. Mm -hmm. And to me, infants don't need a home. They're going to get a home. There are so... You go down to Polinsky, and walk around Polinsky, you do not see infants. They are adoptable. Mm -hmm. You see the older kids right. that are no, that have that unwanted. You know, I mean, they're they're not garbage, and they're not, you know, used clothes that you're throwing to goodwill. And that's how we treat them. Mm -hmm. So that is that is the difference. If I was going to raise a child. And have, you know, if I was going to have a baby, mm -hmm. then I'm totally fine with an infant. Right. But if I was going to adopt, it would be an older... Got it. Now, do you think that you would you would need to be in a relationship to do an adoption? Mm -hmm. Or would you do it? Because I think I it would think, be easier. I don't know. I, I, I view you as the type of person that if you were, if you wanted to adopt a kid, I've said, yeah. you would do it. Yeah. I don't think you'd need a relationship. No. But I, th I do think that you would want to be in a relationship if you were going to go the surrogacy route. Well, no, I think, no, no, no. I think I would want a co-parent regardless. A co-parent, okay. A however, co -parent. right, sure. however sure. I wanted, however I did that. I don't, would not want to do it on my own uh, for, for many reasons. One, I think that there is something that, a, that being in a co-parent situation is good for the child. Mm -hmm. It's good for the child and it's good for the, for the co-parents because there are, you know, one one child it will only tell one of the parents so much, right? And depend on them for so much. Where if you have, you know, co-parenting, then you I feel like you kind of balance that all, you know, all out. If you have the if you have one one parent who has to be the disciplinary, and 
the good guy and the bad guy. Right. Then it's, you know, it's not. And the same thing with a co-parent. You know, you couldn't be with a co-parent where one was the disciplinary one, you know, mm. and one is not. Right. I mean, it's got to be an all-equal kind of thing. But, no, that's what I think. Got it. Hmm. Good for you. Oh, why, would you have kids? Um, I have kids that I don't have relationship with, which is unfortunate. And would I do it again? I would absolutely love the opportunity to do it again, yes. So I could do all of the things over that I was not able to do um, with, with the first one. Um, am I ready anytime soon? No. No, no. no, no. I, I want to be ready, and I'm just not ready. So I might, I might not be ready for 10 years, but I'm not, I, I'm not nixing it. But I do, I do like what you say about, you know, adopting a kid that need. It's kind of like, you know, adopting uh, an animal that's been in foster care mm -hmm. or um, an abused animal or something like that. I'm Heidi was an abused animal. I, I am so pro going to shelters and doing that. I don't see why we wouldn't do that with children too. That's what I say, hallelujah! Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. Today? <laughs> Shit. Maybe Babies are evil. <laughs> well, there's a certain child out in El Cajon somewhere that is kind of evil. <laughs> That's right. God damn it. And I want to know if Channel 10 ever responds to you. Well, I'm just going to tell you. Maybe you should have If I was that parent of that child, I would have gone in, I would have taken that cell phone that he uses as a recording, and I would have beat it upside his head. No to all the foster and adoptable <laughs> children that are watching. This. Well, it's called respect. You don't you don't try to entrap and then use that against an, an adult. Uh, newsflash, kid, your kid. How, he's the adult. Out of curiosity, how old was the kid? Was he high school age? Yeah, or? it was a high school thing. Take years. That's when they start getting really. No, 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 no anymore. They're young. <laughs> Five year olds. Five year olds. <laughs> That's why you need to feed them young. Oh God. Is there any big events you want to talk about coming up? Are you doing anything exciting? Besides uh, going to the rodeo in Palm Springs. The rodeo in Palm Springs is next weekend. Yeah. Yay! Fabulous. Bowling is done. I'm finally done with bowling. Oh, really? So you can go out on uh, I Wednesday am, nights and now. I've decided that I'm not redoing it. I'm not going back next year. I'm taking a year off. Oh, wow. Because it's just too much. Well, I noticed that you checked in. It was Is Ed on your... Uh, Ed Wallum? Ed Wallum? Yes, he was. Our, yes. team, Love Ed. our team just defunct. Oh, just defunct? Yeah, everyone that all of our... Well, most of our teams, we've all been bowling for years. And this year, we've decided we're, we're done. We're, we need to take a break. Oh, well, where were you in the standings? Dead last? Uh, no, 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 no. no. We're, I think we hang around in the middle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the banquet is next week for that. Ooh, where's the banquet? Can we crash it? Uh, the Handerley. I won't be in town. Oh, you know, well, actually, I'm going to be I'm going to go to the banquet, and then I'm going to drive out to Palm Springs as soon as it's over. Okay. You and your kids I've got to go. I've got to go to Palm Springs. I'm going to say it. At, uh, at, at Casa Moss. Casa Moss. Casa Moss. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited about that. Get you a little tan. Do some walking with your Fitbit. I need to go and I'm going to go. Well, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go and um, spray this week. Oh, spray tan. The tan line. I was rich. Give him a shout out. Spray tan. Tan line. In fact, he's here. I'm just going to spray well, me Well, of course week. he's here. Yeah. We gotta wrap this up because All we're right. coming to an hour. All right, fine, goodbye. That's the fucking longest show that we've done in forever. So we'll see you uh, next week. Don't Bye. forget they said on Monday. Duh.